And one of the things they said is like, it's it, that Reddick said is that Curry has faced more physicality. We called him out on. Let me that. say something. Yeah. First of all, Reddick don't know what the hell he's talking about. I What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one, and today we're going to just talk some NBA hoops. Dominique Wilkins got it, J.J. Redick. And one of the things uh, J.J. Redick has been a big proponent of is saying that the this current era plays more physical basketball than the 80s and 90s. Now, what, what J.J. attempted to do, if I'm understanding his argument correctly, I think he's trying to say that um, – it was more physical fouling. He's talking about, you know, uh, Kurt Rambis knocking people out of the air. You know, what the Pistons did, grabbing Michael Jordan in the air and stuff like that, slamming him to the ground. He's, I guess what he's trying to do is take that out of the basketball. But you can't separate the two. Uh, they were one and the same because, for one, in this era that we're in now, you do a foul like that, you're ejected from the game altogether. You're not on the court no more. So, um, you actually want someone to foul you like that, especially if they're a great defender or something, because they could be ejected out of the game. Um, you know, those fouls that Jordan had to deal with, you had to get back up. You might get a flagrant every now and again, but most of those was common fouls, and you got to pick yourself up and play. Now, you could foul out, yeah, but as far as a real-time penalty that takes that player off the court that's seeking to hack you like that, uh-uh. You remember, like, even when the Bulls, you know, when they had their three-headed monsters, their three centers, you know. But you would say, like, however many number fouls you're allowed to get times three, you know, it was a running joke that that's what those players' roles was. You know, use those fouls. You used to have certain players that use fouls. And not saying they don't now, but that's just how it was back then, man. And so – I do not agree with JJ Reddick, and I think some people feel like he's the smart. He feels like he's the smartest person in the room all the time, and he doesn't respect others' opinions. And I think he's just wrong. And this is a uh, um one of those recency bias things. But I think you know some things are debatable. But as far as which era is more physical, I would hope. That's not debated. But check out what J.J. had to say. He got into a heated argument with Doggy. And then we're going to check out what Dominique Wilkins said. And then J.J. Reddick's response. Check it out. Because the 80s are so much different. There's physicality, the way they guarded people. I'm, you couldn't dude, can you, can can we get, get Doggy, I've been trying to make a point. Thing, seriously, I've been trying to make a point for you, Doggy. Come on, man. Well, I've been trying to make a point. Hold on, guys. physicality, Jay? I mean, I, hey, I guys, don't think that counts. Uh, you know what? You and I are going to sit down. You and I are going to sit down. We're going to sit there. And we're going to watch finals games from the 1980s. And we're going to – I'm going to show you what physical basketball is versus physical fouling. You're watching them on YouTube. I saw the games. I watched the games at the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, th this is. I watched all these games. You didn't watch. The, you weren't alive when these games were being played. Did you see Bird right. play against the Lakers in '84? Did you see Bird against the Rockets in '86? Were you at courtside watching these games? No. You got to watch the games at the time. Okay. Watching them on YouTube 40 years later okay. is not the same at the moment. So, so watching a let me ask games. you a question then. When I when I when I watch, let's say Steph Curry for example. Right. When I watch Steph Curry. Off the ball in a playoff game. Oh, he's great. Getting grabbed and held by Marcus Smart. They're attached to him at all times. Right. Then when I watch Larry Bird come off a pin down and no one's within five feet of him and they're shooting the gap. You're telling me one is more physical than the other? You're telling me that's more physical than, than Steph Curry being grabbed and held for 48 minutes? But he, he doesn't, they don't call those fouls on Marcus Smart when he, hold, when he holds him and he holds him on those pick and roll. Of course they call the fouls. They protect Curry all the time. Oh, He's at the free throw lane. He lives at the free throw line. Speaking of the physicality, there was a debate on ESPN with a former player in J.J. Redick just recently, and they were debating Bird and Curry. And one of the things they said is like, it's it, that Redick said is that Curry has faced more physicality. We called him out. On Let me that. say something. Yeah. First of all, Redick don't know what the hell he's talking about. I I'm gonna say it. Right? I agree. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm like, what basketball was you watching? To say something as idiotic as that is ridiculous. The physicality that was a part of the league. Hey, look, 
when you can put your hand on a guy's hip and make him go a certain way, if you can put that elbow in his chest to slow him up, which we call slowing a guy up when you're coming down the lane, so many guys can deal with that type of pressure. And for J.J. Reddick, who've played this game, I'm very disappointed that he has said something so stupid. This yeah. is the thing I'm having a problem with. Bird, who's a big guy, who got bumped all the time. You know, yeah. we played around the basket more than guards played around the basket. So I don't understand the logic of him saying that. Yeah. When clearly those big guys, even to the big guys today, they get touched a little bit more than little guys because they're around the basket. So it just don't make sense when – this is the thing I hate the most. We had our time. It was a great time. It's their time now. Yes. But don't crap on us to prove your point Yeah. because it doesn't make sense and it's not valid. Yeah, but the same thing they look at Sam and myself. Oh, the big the old guys ch- uh, hating. No, we hating not. on what? I don't hate on no. these guys. You're, re- you're responding right now. Yeah. you're not. I don't hate on these guys. These guys are great. I don't. I just don't like to disrespect. Yeah, yeah. And to say that about Larry Bird, yeah. it was yeah, less, less physical. Is he back stupid? To back, to yeah. back MVP. It, it, it's just a, it's just a stupid comment to make. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with Steph. Curry or Larry, yeah. it's the content. Exactly. We just of, broke down the, yeah. the it's, end it's, it's, result. It doesn't make sense. And he should know better than that. Yeah. And I don't care what he feel about me, you know, what his response might be. But to, when I hear that, and I'm like, you really don't know, do you? Yeah. It's, it's just stupid. So JJ Reddit went on Twitter and he said, "Does nostalgia lead to delusion? Does our own personal experience and viewpoint lead to delusion? What if our eyes presented with very clear evidence lies to us?" some things to consider so uh jj you know he had that to say about it and what i will say is dominique handled that really well i mean jj may, might take it some kind of way but we all saw neat get busy we all saw what neat did on that court so jj reddick dominique wilkins not even comparable basketball players by no stretch of the imagination i mean honestly Dominique gets slept on now because he was in an era with Magic, you know, Isaiah, Jordan, Bird, and those guys. But he was right as an individual basketball player. He was right there on that level. One of the best basketball players, one of the best small forwards I've ever seen in my life. And I I think what he said about, you know, you don't have to crap on us to lift y'all up. I think we see in that now and I but also I think from the older generation, we see that, too. You know, they say that this basketball isn't physical enough. So now all the young guys, well, not all of them, but a lot of them, they got their own different podcasts. These players, the new media, as Draymond like to put it, they're documenting things in real time. Although J.J. is retired, he's he he's relatively new to retirement. He still has like a player, in, you know, player viewpoint on the game. I just feel like, uh, you know, it, there's that disconnect right there because you have some older people saying, Man, this game is weak, and you have the the newer people saying, you know, they want us physical, they want us skilled, which I feel like that's a lot. I mean, players been skilled like this definitely in the 80s and 90s. You know, you just play more team basketball back in the day. Um, now, yeah, you you might have a KD or something like that, but you know, a tall tall guard. But as far as skills and fundamentals, I mean. You're not going to find anybody more fundamentally sound than like a Michael Jordan. You know, as great as he was, all that hanging and stuff that he does in the flashy plays, his fundamentals were strong and they were built in North Carolina. Help, you know, home by Dean Smith and his staff. You know, and Jordan obviously just outworked everybody. But that's, that's just the biggest example, you know. But uh, a lot of these guys – have fundamental. I mean, Isaiah Thomas handled the basketball. You know, you. I bet you, if you put him and Kyrie right there together handling the basketball, you you would be in prayer because a lot of people today would think he's just a way better ball handler than Isaiah Thomas, and he was. Y'all would see that wasn't true if you put them side by side. You know, even though I, I, Kyrie is one of the best ball handlers I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? He's up there at the very top. But there were guys that did it before too. So I feel like, you know, J.J., um, he's just doing what a lot of people's doing. He he has that mouthpiece in the media now, and he feels like, you know, he can – he said something like this before, too. Uh, basically, like, him playing in this time 
was it was harder than if he would have had to try to play back in the day. But J.J., he might not have made the league back in the day. And if he did, he'd been at the bottom of the bench because um, I'm not sure, you know, that he's a better scorer than somebody like Dale Curry. And, and he was just – Dale Curry, as he got up in age, he was a specialist, you know, a shooter. And he, I don't think he shot as good as Dale Curry. They didn't take as many threes back then. So th- this is one thing I like to say about the older generation, right? You might see some players that shot 20-something percent from three or low 30s and assume that a person that shoots 37 or 38 in today's game shoots better than them. And that's not always the case. Um, Like the guards you see shooting like 37 from the floor and, and 38 from the arc or, you know, low 40s from the floor and, and right at 39, 40 from the arc. If you're taking, sometimes these players take 12, 13, 14 threes in a game. You know, so if a player hits four out of 10, you know, that that's really good. You got players now taking more threes in five games than some guards took in years back in the day. That's not to knock them down anything like that. It's just to put it into context. Like if you go look, if go look at uh, Michael Jordan's stats on Basketball Reference, and if you look it up, the years that he shot, I think was it over two or over three threes a game. He shot in the mid thirties. It was just the years that he took like one a game, or something like that, where he was shooting in the twenties. So what I'm saying is more volume. If you're a really good player, more volume is going to get you higher numbers. But they were talking about physicality, and I'm glad Neat cleared that up. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.